Hey guys, welcome to Luke's Vintage RC. As you can tell, got a cool project here. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. We like to take beat up Leopard Dead RCs and bring them back to life by doing total restoration and a run review. Um, this one here, definitely not a beat up one at all. It's a brand new, but it is of an icon and I love vintage RC and anything that has to do with vintage RC. So this is from a, the icon of the legendary to me, a Clodbuster. How can you not love it? And from 87, uh, but they've done some reissues along the way. But to me, this is, this is the one reissue that I'm, I was beyond excited about something I would have done if I was working that to me. So here she is. I think she turned, she's beautiful. It turned out awesome. This is the part two of a first version, um, that I did the unboxing of. So did a cool unboxing of this bad boy. Um, but I wanted to take this truck to another level. So we did a lot of stuff to it. Truck is molded in a gray, by the way. So you could just leave it like that, but you do see molding marks throughout the truck. Uh, so, and also the truck is a little more, to me is a little more flimsier uh, than what I, re what I, re I remember. Uh, I do own an 87 Claude and the body is a little, little chunkier, a little heavier to me. So, but, you do see that it does, in my opinion, require a paint job. So I did paint the whole thing, and then I painted the roll bar and all that stuff too. We did a mod to the transmission area. You'll see in the video, this kind of lightens up a little bit in there, and did ball bearings throughout. I uh, did modify the uh, the rim some, uh, but I think they look really cool to get some light through it. Typically, they're just stamps, kind of like a stamped rim. Um, and then we did painting of the, uh, the motor of the, uh, bumper and for the tailgate as well. And did the painting along the windows and the sunroof and the trim here. So a lot of painting stuff went on, obviously painted the bottom lights and then the side markers as well. Um, the, the back ones are stickers. So the stickers you do have to, uh, cut out. They're not pull offs. So did a lot. Uh, let me tell you basically the paints I used for the body. We used a Krylon Color Max. Uh, it is a gloss machinery gray and then I backed it down a little bit with a little 3000 grit paper. Awesome. Um, this is the, the, the paint I used for the bumper and for the hood. Um, it's an oil rubbed bronze satin by Bear. Works great, good for plastic. And for the uh, robot. Two parts set up right here. We did a Rust-Oleum Oasis Blue and then a Neon Blue for a um, very light skim coat, uh, just to kind of give it that look. Both of them uh, are both a matte finish, and while satin, and then this is more of a matte type of look. Uh, so gives me that dullness that I wanted for that part. Looks really cool, I love it. So, did a lot, you'll, I probably I might be missing something, but you'll see it in the video. Um, and then the grill is painted in a satin, uh, a semi-gloss black along with the uh, supercharger with some details on it. A lot there. So the, uh, the motors that's in it are uh, Stinger 20 turns. Uh, does come with 540s that I removed. And I was gonna use a, uh, to me, a torque tune, but I only got one motor in the kit uh, when I ordered two. So, and then I'm getting, uh, People tell me it's probably not gonna work anyways because of the uh, forward direction only kind of thing. Uh, they do go in reverse, but they're slower in reverse. So I don't know. Uh, maybe in future we'll see how that goes. The uh, entirety of the truck is ball bearings. Kit does give you some, but not all. I went with Jim's bearings for that. Um, and what else? Uh, we got a 20, 20 kilogram servo from China along with the light kit right there. So like it was only like $3 or something. Had to wait for a month to, to get the, the, so. Uh, what else? We did a lot for this one. This, it, took, it took a minute to get this all the, together. Um, aftermarket support is huge for it to me, Clawbuster. Probably one of the greatest aftermarket supports. You can do any, everything to these trucks to make them go faster, jump higher, all that stuff. Uh, it's, a, it's a crazy, crazy world out there for to me, Claude, uh, and a good thing. So uh, what else? I, like I said, I feel like the body's a little thin, but uh, my only gripes, like I said, but I feel like the stickers could, should have been pull-offs, but they're not, and then the body's a little thin. 
that's pretty much the cons. Everything else is awesome. I think the price is really good, slightly higher than your normal quad, but just a bit, and you get all kinds of coupons to drop these things down quite a bit. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna go straight into what it took to make the quad look like this, or the Super Quad Gray Edition, and then we're gonna go into run review. That's gonna start right now. Alrighty guys, so now we're getting ready to do the build. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is um, cut everything that is body related and get that ready for uh, wash and paint. Um, now, before I get started, I'm kind of going to go Luke's Vintage RC way with this, uh, but in a little bit of a rapid pace because um, we got a lot of other projects to do for the month of October. It's one of my crazy months. So we got the Halloween build coming up and then we got a um, uh, the AYK Boxer that we need to get finished on that as well. So there's quite a few things. And uh, I also got a little visit from the RC Elf that I would like to get that done as well. So a lot of stuff going on. Um, so we're going to have to shorten this one up a little bit. So I'm going to be building this in large chunks. And that way it shortens, shortens it up a little bit. I promise the manual is awesome. If you, if you wanted to do this one, uh, definitely go through the manual. And you can take your sweet time doing it. Because it's definitely going to be a beautiful time to build one of these uh, slower. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have that luxury. So we're going to be... Uh, building it in large chunks and I, got, I need to do some modifications to the rims and uh, we're going to start getting paint on this thing and then get the chassis built up so uh, it's, it, you'll see large bites of it uh, uh, on the video but uh, unfortunately I won't be able to use the manual as much as I want to um, but it's a beautiful manual and there ain't nothing wrong with this at all so um, let's go ahead and start getting this process rolling uh, on the on the Super Claw Buster Gray Edition. All right, so now we're getting ready to do the body work. Now you can sort of see imperfections in the hood. There, there you go. You definitely can see it, and it's impressions. So it's not like you know once the paint goes over it, you can miss it. So in order to, for me to fix it, like I want. I'm going to have to fill it in. You could sand it down a bunch and then repaint it, but I'm just gonna, you know, sand it a little bit, add some putty, and then let it harden, sand it down, and then once we put some paint on it, you won't see those imperfections in the hood. Just the way it goes. Let's go get started. <music>
All right, now we're based up at zero. Let's see how fast she goes. Get her as far as out I can. See what a clod with stingers will do. All right, that looks fun. 14 miles per hour for this bad boy. All right, let's go on with our regular run review. Now for the run review of the Tamiya Super Clod Buster Gray Edition. So yeah, she runs pretty good. 14 miles an hour, well, not fast. You can't expect record-breaking speeds with a Clod Buster. It's just not really what these trucks are about. They're just meant to have a lot of fun. And um, look at the wobble, love it. Such a character these things are. There's all kinds of upgrades you could do to these trucks too. Our rear steer. If you're gonna drive these a lot, you probably wanna lock the rear steering system. It can get a little annoying sometimes. Good. Go stingers. And with the ball bearings, it helps with the rolling mass of this thing. We get a little bit of air. It does have a little bit of a similar uh, run uh, like my big bears do. I'd like for it to get a little bit of air, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any. Let's see. Wow. What a fun truck. Yeah, got a little bit of air in here. That might be the area I need. And that's gonna be a wrap of this bad boy. I wanna appreciate you guys for watching my videos. If you like this one, definitely hit the like button. Leave a comment if you want to. And please subscribe. Got a whole lot of cool videos coming up. I promise you're not going to want to miss them. Alrighty, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.